Hello everyone and welcome to another California Gator video. My name is Gator and I wanted to show you what we've been working on for the past couple of months. Meet App Deck. Yes, this is App Deck. It's out. It's live. You can download it. It's actually a pay what you want model. So you could either pay nothing or you could pay something. Whatever your heart desires if you want to help out the project. We do have a lot of things in the pipeline coming down to the next version that we release. And because our app is going to be released on the Mac App Store here soon, once it finishes the reviewing part of everything, uh, you will get constant updates. All for whatever it is you decide to give, whether that's a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, whatever your heart desires, or free, you get free updates. Bam! Take that. Spotlight search. Feature freaking sucks. <laughs> I do not like it. I prefer something like Raycast that actually has functionality and plugins in it. Anyways, this is App Deck. Look at it, it's so pretty. I could actually show you, I'm gonna show you a little bit later what it looks like live because it looks beautiful. But this is what our uh, website looks like right now. It's sleek, modern, beautiful, designed for liquid glass with liquid class came up with that one myself pretty proud of it not gonna lie why app deck because your launcher should work for you not against you spotlight search um i want to be able to arrange my apps how i want in the page that i want them to be in and in the folders that i need them to be in but drag and drop magic, you can actually click and hold on an icon to activate edit mode. And you can see right there, the little demonstration is showing you how you move apps. Pretty cool. You can put them wherever you want. You can also move them to the edge of your app deck and change pages if you have multiple pages of apps. Size does matter. And for people that are a little bit blind like me, unfortunately, you do need bigger icons. I need bigger icons. And even if you don't need bigger icons, but you want to have them, you should be allowed to have that. So there you go. You can actually go into settings, top left corner, go to app icons, and then change the icon size. You can change the icon size for when it's not hovered and for when it is hovered. You can also change the little indicator um, color, but that's another thing I'll show you here in a little bit. You can hide the clutter. You can actually go through onto any app, any folder, click on it, right click on it, and press hide icon. And it'll show up in this little screen right here in the settings where it's hidden items and you can unhide them or hide them to your heart's content. Smart folders. Why smart folders? Because you can actually search inside of the folder um, which is something you weren't able to do before. I don't know why that wasn't ever a thing, but you, you couldn't do that. Inside folders. If you had a folder before with about 30, 40 apps, which, dude, if you have that many apps on your computer, that's crazy. That's way more than I've ever had. Um, <laughs> but to have them in one single folder, you're probably going to want to search, which you can do in App Deck. Now, I know what you're wondering. Hey, Gator. How do I create a folder in App Deck? Well, we got away from that drag and drop an icon on top of another icon because every single time I tried to drop an icon into a folder, the folder would move. So I wasn't able to easily put icons into folders. But now the way that you're going to do it is you're actually going to go into your applications folder in your finder, create a new folder like any normal human being would, drag and drop any apps you want in there, and App Deck is going to update itself. And it's going to show you every single app in that folder, and you'll be able to search through them as well. You can also hide folders, you can move folders, you can do whatever you want with them because I'm not going to tell you what to do. Ready to upgrade from the old launcher or even from Spotlight? That would definitely be an upgrade if you're upgrading to this from Spotlight because I tell you, not a fan, not a fan. Download App Deck and take control of your app launcher. It's version 1.0.1. .1. Only works on Mac OS 26, unfortunately, because that's the version that doesn't have Launchpad. If you want to use it in any older versions, there will be a version that's going to be coming out. It's going to be called App Deck Legacy, but that one's a little bit different. 
um, and we're not sure how that one is or when that one is going to be released. But it comes in at a measly 37 megabytes of space, meaning it doesn't take barely any space on your computer, which makes it better for you so you can download all your Fortnite games from the Epic Launcher. You can download it from Mac OS right now, or you'll be able to download it in the Mac App Store as soon as Apple decides that they want to approve it. So hopefully they review it and approve it soon, and you'll be able to download it with free updates for your Mac on the Mac App Store. Free forever, no, ac no account required. And that's free forever for those who do want it to be free, you do have the option to pay what you want. So you can click on that and it's gonna take you to a little page where you can actually name your price. If you want it to be free, it can be free. If you don't want it to be free, it doesn't have to be. You can leave us a little tip and support our work. You can also contact us. You can see the privacy policies. I don't know why you'd ever wanna go and read all that stuff. Heck, I didn't even wanna read all that stuff, but unfortunately we had to. Um, this is our website, it's theappdeck.app, and you can go and download AppDeck right now. Now I did wanna show you a little bit of a live demo. Don't look at all my apps right there, I have a lot. Um, but you can actually click and hold and drag icons and then click outside to get rid of that. You can also go here into the settings and see that you can actually change the icons. So here's a little thing. Apple doesn't allow apps to change their icon in the app itself. Unless you rebuild the project from source code, it will not let you change the icon. But I found a little bit of a workaround, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's pretty cool. If I switch to that one, you can see it did switch to that one. If I switch to this one, it switches to that one. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. And guess what the best part is? That even though the icon does kind of go away when you close App Deck from uh, like either the status bar or you close it up here in the um, application menu, it will hold this icon when I relaunch it. So while it will go back to its original icon inside of the dock, and in the file, uh, like the actual app file, it will revert back to its selected icon automatically. So you do have launch it startup. That's very useful because you probably do want it to la launch it startup so that you can use it immediately after you turn on your computer. Show in status bar. Basically, if you have a whole bunch of other apps going on and you don't want to have to go and click on the dock, you can click up here on the little icon and it's going to tell you whether you want to open or hide the, the, the app deck, whether you can go into your settings or not. Um, so you could do that. You can also set it to either use light mode or dark mode. Now, I'm not a psychopath, so I have it set in dark mode, but you can do whatever you want. Uh, you can change the icon size. You can change the icon hovered size, and this is kind of what it'll look like. So if I go like that, you see that it's not as big. If I go up here, it's a lot bigger. It's a real big chungus, if you ask me. You can also show or hide the app labels, and you can change the active indicator. Basically, the active indicator tells you that an app is active. It does update, uh, but only when the app launcher actually, when the app deck uh, disappears and reappears. So we didn't wanna do it real time because that would take up a whole bunch of resources in your system that we didn't wanna take because the app is only 37 megabytes. It shouldn't really take up resources, but you can see I've hidden a lot of apps mainly some built-in Apple ones. And I, you know, I don't need the app deck icon in my, <laughs> in my app deck. So, but I did hide a whole bunch of applications, <clears throat> that apps application spotlight garbage thing that Apple decided to push for some reason, I don't know why. I have it hidden because I hate it. Uh, but just, you know, you could do that. You could do that too. I, this is about this app of the, created by California Gator. That's me. I'm Gator. And obviously, you know, you could do that or whatever. It's a built-in functionality. So you could go in here, you could actually see the folders and the folders will allow you to go in there and search and whatever. I don't have anything to search for right now. Um, but if I did have anything to search for, I would, you know, search for it up here. But you can launch an app. So let's say I wanna launch text edit. Okay, cool. I just launched text edit 
And if we go back, ta-da, there's that active indicator. Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool if you ask me. And if I don't want to have to go page by page and look for it, I could just type in text edit and it'll show up. You can see that I have a lot of apps actually, as a matter of fact. But I do love this because it allows me to be able to launch any app that I want at any point in time by either just going to the dock or clicking on this and it'll show the app deck. That's what I wanted to see from Mac OS Tahoe. And we did not get it, but luckily we don't have to get it because people like me exist. And I wanted to show you that you can actually go in here and search in folders. So if I go into screenshot, you can see that screenshot is, it's live, it's active because that's what I'm recording on. But you can search inside folders and that's something that I wanted to show you because that functionality was not there before. Now, like I said, you do have to go into your finder and create a folder inside of the applications folder only so that you can move all of the apps that you want to move in there at once. There is no easy way to do that in a setting like this because even the way that Apple implemented a long time ago in their launch pad um, solution, it wasn't as clear cut as you would think. Like you would go into the edit mode and then if you dragged an icon on top of another icon, you could get a folder or you could just have the icon move just like it did right now. You know what I mean? Like if I go in here and move that, you see that it moves the icon. And that's why we didn't want to do the, you know, drag an icon on top of another icon to create a folder, even though it would be uh, a cool feature to have. It's not necessarily a practical feature to have. And we are working on another solution. Don't worry. We are working on creating uh, uh, an interface for people to be able to create folders from within app deck without having to go into their finder. That's coming in version 2.0. Something that's also coming in version 2.0 is removable drives. So you'll be able to actually see removable drives on your app deck and interact with them like you would if you want to press eject on them. You'll be able to right click, which by the way, you could see the hide icon menu right there. So you'll be able to do all that stuff. And this is all coming in 2.0. But for now, this is App Deck. It's very sim simple. It's very easy to use. It's not Spotlight. And I think you'll enjoy it a lot. Thank you so much for watching. And we hope you enjoy App Deck.